Okay, to wrap up this section review, um, we're going to go over the last few problems that come from section 7.1, where you're going to use the central limit theorem. You use that when it, instead of talking about for an individual um, proportion or probability, you're doing it for the sample mean. So um, here we've got a population of values was normally distributed. Um, it either needs to be normally distributed or a sample size greater than 30. So we're good here in both cases. This is normally distributed and it gives us a large enough sample size with a mean of 192.2 and a standard deviation of 40.7 you intend to draw a random sample of size n equals 5. What is the mean of the distri distribution of the sample mean? Um, when it asks you that, you're, that's your clue that you use the central limit theorem. Now for that, your mean is still just whatever they give you as the mean, but your standard deviation is not 40.7. Um, to get the new standard deviation, you do 40.7 divided by the square root of n, your sample size. So instead of using 40.7 for your standard deviation, we're going to use 3.97. So the mean doesn't change, but the standard deviation does if you're doing it for a sample instead of just one individual object, subject, person, whatever you're dealing with. So on this one, um, we've got CNN, BC recently reported that the mean annual cost of auto insurance is $1,030. Assume the standard deviation is 258 with a, a simple random sample of 78 auto insurance policies. Um, so we're going to find the probability that a single randomly selected value is less than 98 point, I mean 98. $988. So since this is just talking about one individual thing, you're a single randomly selected, that means we're going to just do this the good old fashioned way that we've been working with. We're going to enter the mean and the standard deviation just like it is. And we want to know the probability is less than 988. So that's going to give us 0.4867. That one's a little off. I'm not sure why, but um, it should be 4867 there. Um, oh, that's why it's off. I put 1,000. Let's try that again. 258 compute. There we go. 0 0.4353. So that is just the way we did it before. But on the second one, it says find the probability that a sample size of n equals 78 is randomly selected with a mean less than. So same value, but this time we're doing it for the sample instead of just one individual person. So here we need to do um, our standard deviation, 258, divided by the square root of 78 our sample size and that's what you're going to put in for the standard deviation and go out a couple decimal places I usually go out three or four and then you can round after you plug that in so now your answer is going to be 0 0.0753 so that's when you're talking about for a sample instead of just a single thing um, 37 and 38 are exactly the same. Um, the first one's talking for a single, and then the second one is asking for the entire sample size. So the only thing that changes is your standard deviation. You would still plug in um, your mean and standard deviation that it's given for this first one, but then on the next one you would do the standard deviation divided by the square root of 71 for the second one. And you would use that as your standard deviation. So I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any other questions over the review.